Hello, dear friends. Welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Please endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. The Eastern Security Network, as many people, especially its supporters, are fond of saying, is that it has come to stay. I would like to believe it has really come to stay because the people from the East truly deserve to be safe in their homes and on their farms. However, it seems the federal government does not really have the intentions of letting the security network stay alive. As it has been rumored that the Nigerian army is on the lookout for men of the security network that was created by Namdekano, the IPOP supporter, the IPOP leader, I beg your pardon. I believe that the security group deserves a chance just like the Amotekon of the Southwest regional security outfit but i cannot deny the fact that the manner in which the security group was brought up was rather inappropriate considering the fact that this is a group meant to protect lives and property of the eastern people I already discussed some issues with my previous, in my previous articles titled Three Reasons Why the Security Group is a Waste of Time and May Not Last Long. The truth is, I did not really mean that the essence of the group and what it is created for is a waste of time, but the processes followed that are consequently not constitutional may make the whole effort of this group a waste of time. Because I believe in whatever the security network is created for. I think they should consider doing three things if they really want to be accepted by the federal government of Nigeria. One, they have to give the federal government a transparent objective of the security network. This is very important. A car was invented so that we can travel from one location to another faster. This is an example of a transparent objective. The Eastern Security Network does not have a transparent objective they are operating on. First, the security network claimed that they were created to protect the Eastern people from dangerous headsmen. The next thing was the issuing of threats from the group to the Nigerian army not to step foot in the East. This is the most confusing objective I have ever heard of in my life. There is no relationship between headsmen and the Nigerian army. The security group must take transparent or must make transparent their objectives to the federal government. This way, the government can see things from their angle and hopefully make a decision that will favor the group just like it did with the Amotekon. Two, the Eastern Security Network must pledge allegiance to the Nigerian army. This group must be ready to cooperate with the Nigerian army and also pledge allegiance to them. This should not be a problem since both military groups are fighting a common enemy. If the security group can pledge allegiance to the Nigerian army and receive orders directly from the top, then the government may consider supporting the group. Free. Seek the support of the Eastern Governors. 
The bond between the Eastern Governors and this security network is embarrassingly weak. Several days ago, it was reported that the Eastern Governors distanced themselves from the group, indicating that they were not and still not in support of the group. The reason behind this broken understanding of establishing cooperation cannot be identified, but it is suspected that these governors really do not want anything to do with Namdekano, the creator of the group. Whatever way they need to take, the group must try hard to get the support of the Eastern governors. The reason why Amoteko is standing today is because of the strong support it gathered from the Western governors. The Eastern Security Network cannot survive alone without the Eastern governors. If the above recommendations are followed religiously, I am very certain that the federal government may start seeing the need to let the Eastern Security Network survive and play its role in protecting lives and property of the citizens of the Eastern Nigeria. The security group has a bright future, but things could turn bad if care is not taken, and it is only a matter of time before they are branded terrorists. This is the opinion of one of the journalists uh, who has decided not to speak out or put his name to his article. But based on the interesting topic, I decided to bring this to you guys and see what are your thoughts concerning this particular idea of this journalist, as it were. I would like to clearly say that the Eastern Security Network was not set up with the intention of getting the government's support in any way. Because if it actually were, they probably would have sought the government's support all along, or even before it was being commissioned and launched. But the Enam de Kano did not in any way consider the support of the government, either the governors or the federal government as it were. We all know that Enam de Kano is a wanted person by the Nigerian government, and he does not in any way consider any relationship with the government, regardless of whose ox is God, regardless of whichever government, either the federal, the state, or the local government. And then the interest is mainly and purely the people of the Southeast uh, who are attacked the Biafra people. So anything that goes against that or that is not in tandem with that is out of Nam Dekanu's idea or out of his vision, as it were. So it's going to be very, very difficult and it's going to be very, very... Uh... Yes, let's use the word difficult for the Eastern Security Network in any way to consider reason or seek the support of the federal government as it is at this particular point in time. Don't forget, this is the government that has been trying to kill Namdekano or trying to get him locked up you know, over crimes that he did not commit. But it remains to be seen how things unfold on this particular news story as it were. But be that as it were, the Eastern Security Network has started operations. But it remains to be seen if they will stay or if they will fade away anytime soon. The activities have already begun and uh, a lot of people are already commenting and commending the group for the work they are doing in the various communities where they have been uh, working. But we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. What are your thoughts, guys, concerning this particular news story? Well, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you guys on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.